Right, morning. Um, we're in Portugal. I've come with my friend Robin, who's uh, liking the area. He's wanting to buy something, hopefully, at some point, once he's discussed it with the wife. And I know what you're thinking. Batman and, or well, Fat Man and Robin, but no, that's not very nice. I can't help it. I'm just portly. And the camera, the camera makes me look bigger. I'm not that big. Anyway, we're at uh, our friend Janet's place. Um, she's close to Salguero, 10 minute walk, but two minutes in the car. Uh, very rural, it's in, uh, in a woodlands, very nice surroundings. So I'll give you a quick run around the property. It's 1200 square meters. It's got a stone building on, it's about 20, 25 square meters. I'll give you a run round and you can get to see what's uh, what's the crack. <laughs> So what we have here, this is the uh, neighbour's property. So there's a big pond right next to the, the border. So this is the border here, bottom of the uh, land. Um, there's a little property beyond here. Nobody lives in it. It's um, very nice. Now there's a track runs past here. I'll show you that at the end. Um, but where you can see just in front of me, directly in the middle of the screen, um, vehicles can't get beyond there unless they're four-wheel drive. It's, it, the track ends there, so you get no passing traffic. And then you've got the Gardenia Mountains in the background. Very nice view. So, uh, yeah, Janet uh, lives between the caravan and the, uh, the stone building there. Very good stone building. She's got a bit of a greenhouse thing here. I don't know whether this, this is staying with it. I don't, yeah, uh, I'll find out. So, um, I know. So the ladder goes up. It's got a very slight gradient on it, but it is on its like, hello, quiet. So for, for privacy, she's put up some fencing. You don't really need it. Um, but uh, Janet likes her privacy, so she planted a few trees. So there's a few, I think these are olives, yeah, they look like olives. And some fruit, I don't know what fruit they are, but obviously very new, so be a little while before they become uh, growers. So it's got, yeah, it's got quite a good wall all the way around, all in good condition. Like I said, it's a, it's a triangular shaped piece of land. A little bit of a terraced area there. I think that's a cork oak at the bottom. So, yeah. But all the trees are very young that's on it. But it has a well. So that's good. So I think, uh, I think she started to build something there. Don't know what, but anyway. So it's just a nice sized piece of land. It's easy to maintain. So look at the well, see if there's what the buckets have gone, but oh there's plenty of water. Plenty of water. The mechanicals are here for this uh, well to be uh, working well again. You've got a donkey to walk around. But you'd need to put buckets on. It's all here. So yeah, your surroundings, you've got a neighbour there. So all the all the walled area is the boundary. That's just a, a flat, flattish piece of land. And then the track runs down from over there, just the other side of this wall, all the way along here, alongside this forest, which is all pines by the looks of it. None of that eucalyptus rubbish that causes fires. So, so a safe forest. It'll probably be a good source of firewood. I'll um, walk back down the land and I'll go out onto the track to show you the road in. I've just driven in in a, in a hire car, um, perfectly uh, doable in a car. Possibly would wash out a little bit in, with heavy rains, but, um, but yeah. My mate Robin. Yeah. 
like I said, I don't know whether any of this will be staying. I very much doubt it because uh, I think she'll take the greenhouse with her. So it's a cleared piece of land, a good piece of land with um, for baby fruit trees. So there's two ways in, both lead to the same the same spot. So there's a track opposite here where we're parked that goes up round one side of the woods and then this is the main road or the main route in goes up along the other side of the woods uh, both doable in a car like this um, as you can see it gets a bit you, well you can see nobody goes beyond here really it's quite rutted um, but what a what a view what a view so I'll see if we can uh, access the stone building I have a little butchers inside there. Right, so I'm now inside the little stone building. Janet, how big is it? 25. Right, square 20 meters on the Cardinetto. Okay, 25 square meters. So, so she's put a little stone window in. Just stone. The walls are very good. Little wood burner there. And she's, uh, she's got a little mezzanine um, under development, but there's, there's uh, possibilities for more windows because three of the walls are, are onto your own land and they're all out here as if it's, uh, if it's backs under somebody's land you can't have a window on that side so it's got a lot of potential. Yeah. It's a nice little spot and what Janet's been doing, so I'll take you back out, so she's been digging out around it. So the, uh, this area here has been dug out, this is to stop damp. Obviously it wants some more digging out but once a membrane goes in that will stop any damp getting into the building. And then land's been cleared at the side, ready or is ongoing. This is so as it can have a uh, Outdoor kitchen, outdoor kitchen with uh, that out there as the view. Really good view. And she's got um, dogs on the land, so, so it's all been made secure for animals. This gable end. It's just tin sheets on the roof. They're, they're new, so it's a good roof and she's insulated the underside. Um, but yeah, loads of potential. Beautiful piece of land. Um, she's got it on the market. Uh, she's wanting to, uh, offers very close to twenty thousand euro. Um, I will put a link. Uh, not a link. I'll put a, some details so you can contact Janet directly, and then uh, yeah, go from there. But anyway, sorry, I'm uh, squinting a bit. The sun's beautiful today. Over and out. Please look at my other videos. Don't forget, subscribe and like. Ciao.